What if I were to say to you that there was a place in Ireland so evil that you could be scratched by unseen forces? That if you wear Christian jewellery, you could upset the building itself? And if you enter the building, you could have heavy breathing, anxiety, loss of balance, and all sorts of disorientating feelings? Would you believe me? Oh yes, the Hellfire Club, one of the most frightening and evil places in Ireland and an area that isn't fully respected for what it really is and what it represents. This place is perched looking over Dublin city from the Dublin mountains. The whole area itself, the valley, the mountain is steeped in ancient lore and fables dating back to ancient high kings and the Fianna. Thousands of years old passage tombs were located on this very site. And this is where the problem starts. Because in the 18th century, an elite aristocratic politician, William Speaker Connolly, destroyed and used those passage tombs to build part of a hunting lodge, which still stands today. This mere hunting lodge was built in the 18th century and part of the passage tomb rocks were used in the fireplace itself. The roof that stands on the Hellfire Club today is not the roof that was originally built for the original roof was blown off or some say electrocuted during a storm soon after it was built. Coincidentally enough William Speaker Connolly died a couple of years after building this lodge and it would have passed over to more aristocratic elites. And these people were connected or known themselves as the Hellfire Club. This group, potentially part of the Freemasons, or at least the members were Freemasons, used to refer to themselves as bucks or devils. This site was a perfect location for the debauchery and the acts that they wanted to use the place for. They used to be in a place called the Eagle Tavern, something to that effect, in Dublin City. But it was found out what these guys were doing, the sorts of sordid activities that were taking place and they had to find something that was secluded which is why they acquired the hunting lodge which used to be owned by William Speaker Connolly. They moved their activities up to this lodge. It didn't last that long. It only lasted a few years but what took place during that time brought a lot of attention to the local community and so it was disbanded after a while but during this time some say the devil himself came to claim the soul of one of its members for a promise was made by one of these members and it happened during a card game where the devil turned up and after a while it was noticed that he had hooves, the guy that was playing the card game. Whatever the case may be, there were remains of a dwarf skeleton located either in the chimney or on the grounds around the Hellfire Club and this was found by a contractor working on the building in the 70s or 80s. The reason why people call this place evil or dark is because of the amount of activities that happen to people while they're visiting. For me, in my opinion, just my opinion, unfortunately this place is a popular destination for regular hikers and some people bring in their families and dogs up here. I'm not too sure why because for me it's not safe, that's just my belief system. What stands there today is a stone roof which was added after the original roof was taken down or destroyed during the storm. And this roof stands today and actually the building looks really creepy because of this stone roof and the way it's just like a shell. For me the building looks like some sort of figure or some sort of entity in, in of itself. It just looks terrifying. So the type of occurrences that happen to people up here is, and I have heard this firsthand from somebody that has zero belief in any of this, but they told me a story that happened and they're not from this country. They went up with their family and after visiting the building, they noticed later on that night that they had scratches on their skin, three scratches. Now, I asked them specifically, did you scratch yourself off anything? And they were like adamant, no, 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 nothing happened. They only noticed it that night and they, could, they don't recollect any sort of scratching or anything while they were there, but they were 
they were in that building during the day. This kind of stuff happens. Apparently Christian jewelry can be ripped off or moved. People have claimed that they are short of breath, get very anxiety filled once they enter the place. They feel faint. Lots of investigations have taken place here as well where people that have scientific equipment are picking up all sorts of activities, uh, anomalies, things that shouldn't be there. Equipment is objective, it's just showing things that are not there to the physical eye or the physical touch. Other um, people have claimed to have seen solitary figures standing in windows in or around the building as they approach. And remember, a lot of this stuff is happening during the day, bar the, the paranormal investigations. This is a popular hiking destination and I would say to anybody this Halloween to be very careful for you have no idea if you're upsetting the supernatural realm for they may have designs on you and your family and they may have plans. They could attach themselves to you. So just be careful and be warned because the Hellfire Club is one of the most frightening and evil places in Ireland. Would you believe me? Oh yes.